、えー、間もなく起訴委員会の方たちがこの部屋に戻ってこられます、えー、間もなく起訴委員の方たちがこの部屋に戻ってこられます、えー、皆様ご着席の方よろしくお願いします Everyone, the members of the drafting committee will enter soon, so everyone please be seated.、Um, the members of the drafting committee will enter soon, so everyone please be seated. みなさん、大きな拍手をお願いします All members of the drafting committee, please come to the front. All members of the drafting committee, please come to the front. えー、ここでおもてなし係の方に、えー、連絡があります、えー、各担当のゲストさんに、えー、ちゃんと同時通訳機の方が配られているかどうか確認してください、えー、もし配られていない席があれば、えー、その場で挙手をお願いします、uh, We have one announcement for おもてなし members、uh, Please check if your,、um, foreign, I mean, your guests have the receiver But if, you, if they don't have the receiver please raise your hand えー、おもてなし係の方たちに連絡です、えー、各担当のゲストの方たちに、えー、同時通訳機の方がちゃんと配られているかどうか、えー、確認してください、えー、もし配られていなかった場合には、えー、挙手をお願いします運営スタッフの方が、え
同時通訳機の方を配りに行きます。Uh, we have one announcement for Omotenashi members.、Uh, please check、uh, if your guests have the receiver. If they don't have the receiver, please, Omotenashi members, please stand up. はい、次は代表の皆さんが協力して一生懸命考えた宣言文の発表です。次に全体会議長を選出します。どなたかしてくれる方はいますかえ承認される方はほかのメンバーの方は席にお戻りください。はい、映ってないです議長の方はお願いします。Hello, everybody. I'm Karabo Pecha from South Africa, and today I'll be acting as the vice chairperson for the joint declaration. Thank you.
Hello everyone, hope you had a good day today. I'm Nazifa Raida from Bangladesh and I'm going to act as the vice chairperson for the joint declaration today. Thank you. Uh, in the From the draft vote session that we have been having, uh, we got the following articles uh, as the draft vote for the group we have got uh, as above. I would like to ask one of the vice chairpersons to read them out to you. The joint declaration of UNESCO SPNET International ESD events for students and teachers platform for students. People in the world have been making effort to solve both global and regional issues. It is true that we have achieved steady results in the fields of wars, conflicts and the environment, culture and energy and food. However, there still exists many problems lying ahead of us. For these reasons, we, SPNET high school students in the world, have learned from each other by taking into account the diversified background of each region and have strived to think about these issues. We are now in the final year of the UN Decade for the Education for Sustainable Development that has started in 2005. For the, for the past 10 years, through the education based on the firm belief that the idea of ESD is essential to the success of sustainable development around the world, we have learned the importance of mutual learning and paying attention to common underlying attitude to these issues. At the same time, it seems that the world is expecting us, the younger generation, to commit ourselves to solving these problems more than ever. In, 2000, in November 2014, we, the high school students of the ESD generation from 32 nations, have conferred here in Okayama City, Japan. Our discussion started from issues we are familiar with under the themes of what factors you believe obstruct sustainability in everyday life and society and what is important when promoting sustainability. Then we discussed what the development is and agreed on its diversity. Then we discussed what the development is. There were opinions such that we high school students should take the lead in paying respect to the environment, culture, tradition, and human beings, regardless of how old the people are and where they live in and what the, uh, that sh we should spread our idea through specific activities as much as we can in a responsible manner. In order to carry out these things, we believe that it's important to start from small things around us, such as cooperating with our friends, promoting recycling, and participating in volunteer activities, and provide other people with enjoyable opportunities to learn about ESD so that an increasing number of people will be interested in ESD through our creative activities unique to us, the younger generation. Thus, we confirm that there could be many things that we can do. Based on what we, we had discussed, we further exchange opinions and ideas so that we could explore what we as high school students can and should do now and in the future. Finally, we have arrived at the following five conclusions. As the first article, we discussed that we are not helpless, but our ability may be limited. However, we would like to cooperate with each other, make full of use of opportunities of learning about sustainability and disseminate the education about ESD. We should be conscious that all of us high school students are human humans living on earth, and we should be conscious of the environment and the nature around us. Based on a long-term perspective, we need to take responsible actions in a specific manner and all types of education in such which are not taught in school. As a third article, each of us should share and respect various lifestyles, culture, and opinions by connecting each other so that we can promote mutual understanding and stimulation. The fourth one, people can learn about how to connect or, communi or communicate with each other what peace and human rights are and what the individual should do through the 
through the education. Education will consist of topics such as gender equality, human rights, peace, and rising awareness. Thus, we should be conscious of the importance of education. As a fifth article, each of us should be conscious of all the above mentioned and make every effort to have our clear target. So this is all that we have discussed throughout our uh, joint declaration, and we have created a draft according to that. So do you, if you have any questions, please be kind to ask. Please be open to us and ask any question that is within you. If you wish that there is something that is not right, ask it out. Okay, if there is no question yet, you have a question? Yes, please. Yes, please. We have discussed it is under control. Yes, and, and, and linkage. Yeah, that for the case of that question, for those of you who have had it, we have it is in the fourth point. It is under linkage. It is under linkage. I would like to, I, I'd like you to specify what our targets should be like. I mean, like, what do you expect us to do, and how do you actually expect us to do, and who do you expect us to help, us to help to do that? Peace. Okay. If you have mastered a problem somewhere. Then educate the people on how to come out from the problem. And if you are able, if you are educating someone to come out of a problem, tell him also to educate someone else who has the same problem. You get me right. Another question? Um, okay. Actually, it, it coincides with the first point because we're not helpless, but our ability may be limited. So we have our limitations. So someone should be helping us out, and there should be a particular way to achieve the target. So I want you to specify of what should it be like. Like someone should be with us because we have our abilities, right? We're not helpless, but there is limitations to our, you know, I'm, I'm, trying, to, uh, uh, I'm tr trying to specify the point that what is actually the target and how do we actually do it because we have our limitations. Someone should be helping us and we, have, we should have a particular target, right? You get me, right? Yes, please. Uh, now, let me answer you very openly now when you like in a school why we are saying that we are limited we, we may be limited at a school nowadays some schools are aiming highly at only at only essay okay like not not having practical work yes that's what most of the schools are aiming at now but what, now what we are talking about is you want this work of esd to be put in the school program in the in the curriculum on the on the timetable that's what we are about we, we are talking about we want this esd to be also put on the school timetables such that we shall learn it from class and it will also, we also go to the garden and do it if it is going or oh, in the field like that thank you any other question Okay. If there is no any other question, please, at this moment. Okay, yes, please. Yes. What if we use social networking sites like uh, this more refers to point number four. What if you, we use social networking sites to communicate? Um, like if, for example, we use something like Twitter, we came up with a slogan. Uh, to promote ESD, and that way when people have an idea somewhere around the world, they can put the slogan on the end of their tweet or whatever. And that way, if we follow this, it's much easier to communicate ideas because we are the modern generation, and social technology is a very big part of our day-to-day -day life. Uh, no matter what kind of, uh, of communication, provided you have communicated, we don't mind. Whether you use Twitter or what, but... Yes, but um, what I'm trying to say is, can we get something that's a bit more concrete? So that, like, something that we can decide on today, like that we mean. can move forward with, that we 
as of today, can spread with our schools and something that we take back home with us in our various countries. Okay. In the drafting uh, committee, we rather discussed about the tactics and the ways we can do it. Uh, what are the concepts rather than the mediums? The point about whatever you have mentioned about uh, social networking, it was mentioned and we included in, in short within communication since we had really lack of time. So we'd rather mention the tactics. So the idea of communicating through social networks was definitely mentioned. So thank you. Yes, please. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's not actually a question. It's just I would suggest for uh, Azlea from France, if I'm not uh, mistaken, we could, um, because there hasn't been as much time to go on a deeper level in some concrete things, uh, the draft is really a great attempt, I find, and it is, is a great, actually. It's very uh, clear and general. And so we could stay connected by some uh, social networking, Facebook or uh, email, so we can continue to put actual uh, input and create maybe a slogan that would be um, like delivered all over the world. So we can stay connected afterwards on uh, whatever social media I find. But uh, thank you for the draft. It's very great. Yeah. You're hey, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Yes, please. Well, uh, personally, and as, as a country, like we are in favor of uh, the declaration because, like, with the declaration, really, what we are, we, what we were searching, I was in the draft committee, was to find the like the main focus points, the main areas of work, and from that, five points, concrete actions will come out. Like these are not the concrete actions, these and these are not like the like the specific plans. They are they are like the base, the base. Uh, like uh, the international base towards reaching a sustainable development. So personally, I think it's very complete. And if you see, like, uh, we were inspired a lot by, by like, really the, the, the meaning of UNESCO, like education, science, and culture. Like, we mentioned education as one of the most important uh, things uh, uh, for, for finding a better sustainable development. And well, we also mentioned that education is not only on schools, but it's something that you learn on the family. It's, it's something, it's a cultural matter. So at the end of the day, everything together, uh, I think is uh, like a good way for we as high school students to develop sustainable development in our community and to also uh, propose to a government a public policy for them to also uh, have sustainable development. Like this is like uh, the, sol the solutions, they are not only uh, solutions that the government should do. They are also solutions that we as students should apply in, in projects in our communities in a way that all of us together can put a small piece to this big uh, castle or, or, or change that should be made over the next years. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. I thank you very much. Uh, all those ones who approve the joint declaration, please show your applause to us. Thank you very much for this applause that you have given. I, at this moment, I want to declare these articles as the joint articles for the declare as. I want to declare this as the joint articles for the UNESCO ASPNET International ESD event for the students and teachers at this session. Thank you very much. Be blessed. ありがとうございました。さて、2日間のディスカッションの成果として、ここに高校生宣言を採択されました。この宣言は各国語に翻訳して共有いたします。次に今回の世界大会の運営を担当いたしました岡山、大阪の高校生を代表して、次の3名から
岡山からは昨日プレゼンを担当いたしました市場由紀さん、信原里奈さん、大阪からはいつもゲストの皆さんのそばに寄り添っていただいたおもてなし係、チーフのピョン・ガンデョル君です。よろしくお願いします。皆さん、3日間お疲れ様でした。この3日間、どのようなものになりましたか皆さんにとって、一生記憶に残るようなものになれば、嬉しく思います。私たちは、育った環境や、話す言葉は違いますが、ここにいる全員が、誰かのためを思い、誰かのために行動してきたと思います。その、思いやりの心こそが、このフォーラムを成功へと導いたのではないでしょうか。今回、採択されたこの宣言文が、このフォーラムで留まってしまうのではなく、自分の生活や学校、学校、身の回りの人に伝えていくことが、ここに集まった私たちの責任であると思います。最後に、遠いところからお越しくださったゲストの皆さん、このフォーラムの運営に携わった高校生の皆さん、そして私たちを支えてくださった先生方、この会を主催してくださった方々、すべての方々に感謝したいと思います。今日は本当にありがとうございました。Hello, everyone. I am a representative of Japan high school students. My name is Guan Yer Pyeon. I was really impressed about your presentation and discussion. I thought that this declaration st statement will inspire all the countries. But this forum is not the final destination. We are just standing on starting line. So I have one request, request for all of you in this room. Please don't forget this UNESCO ESD forum and please tell what we should think and act for a sustainable society. Let's create a better world together. Thank you for listening. しし